And it is my honor to be able to throw Donald Trump over the top in the delegate count tonight with 89 delegates. Congratulations, Dad. We love you. So Donald racks up enough delegates to put him over the edge. On day two of the Republican National Convention, his family members proudly announce his home state of New York helps him officially secure the Republican nomination for president. And this is a live look now at the Republican National Convention underway in Cleveland, Ohio. House Speaker Thank Paul you. Ryan has just finished speaking at the I'm podium. The roll call is complete. And tonight we are set to hear from Trump's son, Donald Jr., and his daughter, Tiffany, along with Trump's former political rival, Dr. Ben Carson. Let's listen in. Enough. Enough of feeling like your government is ignoring you. Enough of Washington bailouts and handouts. Enough of feeling less safe and less secure in a more dangerous world where the bad guys are winning and the good guys are losing. But I have good news. California's in Kevin McCarthy now taking the podium and speaking, and we will hear more from them throughout the evening. And Melissa Kane is live for us in Cleveland. But Melissa, strong vocal showing from California and the, uh, specifically the Bay Area today. Oh, that's right. San Francisco's very own Harmeet Dillon is a Trump delegate here, and she actually kicked off this today's session with a prayer. Now, she is a member of the Sikh religion, and she gave a Sikh prayer to begin today's session. She tells us that Reince Priebus himself, the chairman of the Republican National Committee, called her and asked her to participate. It went over pretty well. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It is an honor as a Sikh American and the vice chair of the California Republican Party to share a prayer from my faith tradition, Sikhism, the fifth largest religion in the world. But that was not what happened for the now, state you state. might not think that a state like California, years, such a blue state, state, would have such a strong so showing here at the Republican the National Convention. But it's the been a big day for a large state Trump. like California, which, unlike a the large state like Texas, actually voted for Donald Trump. Trump. They're getting a lot of the love at this convention. It's been amazing on social media, on Twitter and Facebook. My friends from around the world and even strangers are emailing me, texting me, saying how beautiful it was that the RNC included a prayer from my faith in the program tonight. We don't usually get it. We're usually in the nosebleed seats and we are usually uh, get, get a fairly lukewarm response. But this time around, we're front and center and getting a very warm response. People's voice will be heard. Uh, that is right. So Harmeet Dillon, of course, got a warm response to the California delegation itself, also getting a warm response here. And Melissa, tell us about the Golden State's involvement in this roll call vote. How exactly did it all play out? And it was so interesting because Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, they're giving all of their vote tallies. And then when the uh, representative from California began speaking, the whole convention center erupted in support of California's delegates. California, that is 100% rock solid. And I am proud to place 172 votes to the nominee of the next president of these United States, Donald J. Trump. I, it was a big response. You can also hear behind me, of course, Congressman McCarthy speaking with a prime position as well. We actually talked to one delegate, a Trump delegate from Berkeley tonight. She's 22. She's the youngest delegate from California. She tells us that she's actually been getting a little ribbing from her colleagues about being able to come to such a prestigious event at such a young age. They do. They think it's pretty cool that a Berkeley student, an active Berkeley college student, is here. And a lot of them tease me. I'm 50 years old, and this is my first convention. And I'm looking at you, and you're 22, and you're already here as a full fledged delegate. So I think there's a little bit of joking jealousy that I get to be on the floor at 22 years old. Well, certainly she wasn't there in 2012 when California delegates told me that they felt like a bit of a second-class citizen and maybe maybe a little pity from their fellow delegates. That certainly does not seem to be the case this year. California is definitely in the house. We are. We're important. <laughs> Melissa, thanks so much. Look